Sorry, it was muted. Uh, let me start by saying our condolences are with those uh, in the Collierville incident. It's a sad day, uh, obviously. It's one of those things our team will continue to keep them in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, today was not our best day. It was uh, not our best effort, not our best execution in any phase. We're really disappointed. We have no chance to play game of football if we continue to suffer penalties like we did today. Uh, especially on offense, you know, we gave up some on defense as well. And then, you know, untimely turnovers absolutely killed us. We got to be able to stop the run a little bit better. Um, anytime a running back's able to run the ball over 40 times and be efficient doing so, it's going to be hard and we've got to be more effective running the ball ourselves. Um, I was told our guys in the locker room, they should be mad, they should be upset, they should be pissed, they should be sad. All those feelings, they're validated. Um, but the only thing we can do is look in the mirror and it starts with me and how can we improve? And all we know is to go back to work. Uh, and I guys understand that we got a big conference game coming up. Uh, credit to UTSA, their whole ball team. Uh, they bought it day in and day out and uh, down in and down out and gave us all we could handle. Uh, unfortunate, but if I know anything about this team, uh, like I told them, one game will not define us. One game will not define me. One game will not define each individual or our team. Uh, we've all got a lot of work to do. And uh, I, I think Catch your breath tonight and then go back to work tomorrow. Evan and then Frank. Ryan, I guess what was more just troubling for you in terms of things? Was it the fact that you guys couldn't stop the run after not being able to struggle with the pass the last two weeks? Or was it those two turnovers in the fourth quarter, as you mentioned, that just were momentum killers? Yeah, two turnovers in the fourth quarter, Evan, absolutely were. Um, yeah, just can't do it. You, get, you give yourself no chance. You put the defense back out on the field, um, you know, who knows what could have happened with them. And then, you know, like I talked about, just uh, some untimely penalties, right? We can't play behind the sticks. Um, we're not where we need to be as an offense to be able to do that. Um, but obviously, like I said, you know, it, it just as frustrating not be able to stop the run uh, like we needed to down and down out and, and credit yeah. goes to them. And on that note, you guys, you guys had trouble establishing the run a little bit against UTSA. Um, Seth did have a lot of passing yards, but is this kind of a case where you guys wanted to try to, established run even though they couldn't um you guys can break through a little bit more yeah look i always want to establish a run um that's what like we said we always want to hang our hat on but you know, Evan, there there's a reason they're 10th in the country and in, in defense and you know and then i've done a fantastic job stopping the run by every team they played and they did that again today um the, the defense they you know play predicated is to stop a run and uh, they did that and we didn't do a good enough job and it's you know from for me, it starts for me, but like I said, offensive line, running backs, uh, tight end blocking, wide receiver blocking, all must improve. Frank. Hey, Ryan, after you guys got that defensive touchdown, um, you had back-to-back -back drives where you scored offensively. After that, for that first quarter, what changed? What, what were some of the issues that caused you guys to not be able to have that same momentum you had in the first quarter? Yeah, penalties, and then they, they out-executed us. Um, as simple as that. Like I said, I think that second quarter was where some of our penalties started to come up and, um, you know, we weren't playing clean football and that's where, you know, we weren't able to sustain drives. Um, uh, they were able to start, you know, they, they felt that, you know, like they were able to establish their ring game a little bit and they, they were, and, uh, you know, we weren't where we needed to be. And we know this, and if there's anybody knows every game we play is a four quarter game. And I know this almost hurts, but did you have that conversation with your team about, you know, going into conference play in terms of the conference schedule, it's, 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 it's O and O. There's still a lot to, to, to be played within the, the American conference. Yes, sir. Yeah, Frank, I, I, I mentioned it to him. I said, like I said earlier, you know, one, one game is not going to define our season. We have all of our hopes, goals, and dreams still in front of us, and it's got to be one day at a time. Um, it's, it's such a long season, all that. So we know what, what's ahead of us. Look, we're going to hit the road. Uh, we're going to play our first morning game, the first time getting on a plane this season. Um, you know, we, we got we got to be ready. Um, and look, we know that playing in that stadium um, hasn't been great to us. And, we, you know, we've got to find ourselves to play better on the road, um, but a lot to clean up. And it's going to start with us. So look, we know we got to focus on Temple here soon, but um, there's a lot we can clean up on our own. Brian and then Mark. Hey, Coach, what's the, uh, the health of the team? Uh, I think uh, Austin Myers uh, went out uh, with the injury. Do you have an update on him or anybody else that may have been digged up during the game? Yeah, no, I'll meet with our uh, medical staff here later. I have not uh, gotten any updates, but we had a few guys go down and out. Mark. 
Okay, Ryan, I'm curious with with Seth and just the offense in general. You, you mentioned how good UTSA was at stopping the run. You obviously ran the ball more than you threw it today, partly because you led for a lot of the game. But I'm curious, where are you at in terms of, you know, how much is too much for Seth as a true freshman to take on, you know, throwing the ball with play calling? Where are you at in terms of that with him four games into his career? Yeah, you know, Mark, the one good thing about it is I feel really comfortable with him having an understanding of the offense, right? I think every game is going to be new learning experiences. I think that's what happens when you have an 18-year-old out there. There's certain things that he comes back and says, man, I, I knew exactly what. But I don't think the the one thing about him is, he, like I said, he's super intelligent, has great football IQ. So um, I ask him, right, I ask him every day, what do you want to take out, right? Because as coaches, we always want to continue to put stuff in, and we got to make sure that he's comfortable with everything. And man, that's the one thing about him is I know he can handle it all mentally. And again, right, we got to make sure that we're not putting too much on his plate that he can't go out there and execute. But I don't feel that way. Um, we just didn't do our job um, from top down. And, and that's why I think what happened today. And then, correct me if I'm wrong, Thomas Pickens didn't dress today. Is that a long term injury, short term injury? I believe it's a short term injury, but I'll, I should have some more information this week. Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.